latest right here is the Nothing Phone 1. A week back, this wonderful device got the Nothing OS 2.0 update. Now, we've already briefly covered all the features that were expected in this update when we used the beta. But what about the review? And that is what we're going to talk about today. I have gone ahead and inserted my personal SIM card in this device, although we do have four to five different phones, but I've inserted my SIM card in this one. I used it as a personal device with nothing OS 2.0 and here's a complete review for you guys, which will help you decide what's new, how new is it and how good is this update. Hello everyone, my name is Kalash, you're watching Phone Ops. We make amazing tech content like this every single day. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops, let's get going. The most notable change in this particular update is the home screen look. Just have a look how different and beautiful it looks. I mean, I've taken my time to go ahead and set it up the way I like it, but it definitely looks great. And there are a lot of new changes. But first things first, let's actually go to settings and see what is new in the software department. So the moment you go to the about phone section, you will see it says nothing OS 2.0.2 with the build number and the code name for this device that is Space War. This update is around one gigabyte that is 0.97 GB for people who are coming from the stable 1.5.6 and if you are on the beta it will be smaller in size because more or less these are the same thing it has just been further polished and optimized now apart from this this update comes with the August security patch and the biggest highlight of this update is not the new widgets it's not the new folders the biggest highlight I feel for this particular update is the smoothness remember this device comes with a 700 series processor but after this update, the smoothness, the battery management, the RAM management is just next level. It doesn't really feel like a mid-range processor. It feels like flagship and that is something I really, really appreciate. Now, a thing to note over here is it's not only AOSP that makes your device smooth. I mean, Motorola devices have AOSP and they are smooth too. But the optimization on software front is something that should give you a very, very good experience. So the boot animation, as you can see, is now updated. Earlier, you used to get a straight line but now you get these dots and it looks different it's you know not something like that is good or this is good whatever i like both of them but the dotted line theming system will continue for your brightness slider it will also continue for your volume slider so you know that is sort of a look that nothing are going for and in my opinion it looks a little different and gives nothing os a character a little different from what asp roms or asp you know software updates look like now talking about the other things as i said we have everything brand new on the home screen the thing that i like the most is quick tiles can now be added as widgets so that makes your home screen even more functional folders can have different shapes and sizes you can even have different covers for folders as you can see for this folder i've set up a different cover you can go ahead and minimize a folder you can go ahead and enlarge a folder along with this this type of folder if you go to customize you have different looks available for folders and the best part is these are still clickable so you know even though the folder looks different you can directly launch an app from within the folder that's really really neat so the moment you boot into this particular update for the first time you will be greeted by a few hints of change Changes. For example, as you can see, it will ask you what visual style do you want? Do you want the nothing look or you want the AOSP Android look? Apart from this, it will tell you that you now have essential notifications. We will talk about that in a bit. You have the new Glyph interface and the new UI looks absolutely beautiful, right? Now, all said and done, is the new UI really that functional, that beautiful? Well, I feel it is. It is definitely a welcome change. As I said, that the widgets can now be supersized, resized along with the folders. The widgets can now be quick tiles and the animations that you get for these widgets or folders is absolutely beautiful. Now, talking about widgets, you now have eight widgets from nothing instead of four. These are basically your clocks, your weather and all the other things and, you know, quick tiles, of course. Quick tiles can be added in a big format, a pill format, that is a horizontal pill and a single circle quick tile as well. 
right now almost all the other widgets can be resized you know to occupy the home screen which in my opinion is a good change that nothing have done major highlight in terms of functionality for this update if you go to settings and then if you go to apps you will notice that apps can now be cloned and they can be locked as well now on AOSP system if you get this functionality it is really really neat and nothing have done a pretty good job to give you an app locker and an app cloner which allows you to you know lock or clone almost any app that is installed on your device along with the new settings interface if you then go to glyph interface you will notice that everything that was there earlier is still available but there are a few new things and this is reorganized so you can actually you know go ahead and select the brightness for glyph lights there are three levels of brightness that are available you can go ahead and choose what ringtones you want and you can have custom contact ringtones along with this you now have you know different section for essential notifications as you can see i've set a essential notification for my wife's whatsapp text message so if your device is upside down and you get an essential notification even if your phone is on silent you will get that different sort of notification it is very useful but apart from this you do get things like the glyph composer which was earlier available only on the nothing phone too so if you go to the composer you know you can go ahead and click on get started you have to install one app and then you can go ahead and make whatever ringtone you want i'm not tried it because i'm happy with the ringtones that i have within the phone it can still be used you know the glyph lights can still be used as a charging meter it can be used for google assistant and bedtime schedules as well now there are a few things like you know delivery progress and a couple of other things which are exclusive to the nothing phone too i don't feel that it is a hardware limitation but again you know they will give something extra to their flagship anyways right so the glyph lights can now be used as torch as well all you have to do is you know you have to go to the quick tile here tap once and you will get the torch from the led flash and long press it and you will get glyph torch which means all the lights at the back will light up what is also very interesting is the lock screen and always on display customization so if you go to lock screen over here you can now add up to eight widgets on the lock screen as you can see there are different sections that can be added and there are a host of options available at the same time you can have double line clock and lock screen shortcuts can now be customized as well as you can see torch camera none device controls these are the options that you can go ahead and customize for the lock screen shortcuts the best part is though if you go ahead and lock the phone you will notice that all these shortcuts or widgets are available on the always on display and if you tap once tap again it can be enabled tap again it can be disabled i also really liked the default android transition which means if i tap here the animation will start from here if I log this again, if I tap here, the animation will start from here. And it's not only beautiful, it's very, very smooth. So that goes to say that nothing, I've done a lot of hard work to optimize this OS for the nothing phone one. Now, what is aesthetically also pleasing is the new wallpapers that you get from nothing. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because along with this look, if you say go to customization, wallpaper in style, say change wallpaper, you want to select say any other wallpaper for that matter, the moment you switch to a different sort of a colored wallpaper, the whole Monet theming system comes into play and it is very well implemented in this OS. So Monet along with the nothing's customization, it does a pretty good job. Now you also have the internet speed meter at the top, which was earlier not available. What I've also noticed on Geo 5G, we now have VONR, which is just like VOLTE on 4G. Now another major addition comes to the camera application that is the new user interface for the camera app. As you can see, this is very much in line with the Nothing Phone 2. Although there is one small bug in the new camera app that if you are in the portrait mode using the front camera and you have more than one person in the frame, well, it will probably blur the second guy and that's something that I don't appreciate. I really hope Nothing can fix this. I've tried this in the beta and the stable. Both of them have this bug. Check on your phone if you have this bug and let me know in the comment section. What has improved though on the camera part is better shutter speeds. As you can see, the shutter speed is much faster now and the app launch animations for camera and other applications are pretty good as well. 
As I said, overall the UI is butter smooth and does a pretty decent job. Along with smoothness, the fingerprint scanner on this device is working really, really well after the update. The face unlock is working really well after the update. Game mode is still available in this particular update. You can add whatever games you want of your choice and you know you can select the notification type, mistouch prevention and you have Google's own game dashboard built into that. So that works well if you're a gamer you shouldn't really have a problem. As far as the graphic settings are concerned, you get Smooth Extreme and HDR Ultra in VGMI. And in one, one and a half hour, when I played this particular game, the experience was pretty good. Although there were frame drops because of course, 778G, right? And uh, yeah, gaming was okay. It is not really for competitive gaming. But if we actually talk about the performance numbers, you know, things like Antutu, Geekbench, CPU throttle test, it's very interesting to see that. In Antutu, we scored 607,000. 058 the temperature increased by 5 degrees celsius and the battery dropped by 4 percent if we talk about geekbench 1058 single core 3015 multi-core standard stuff but the cpu throttle test was very inconsistent i ran it on two to three different occasions the cpu throttle to 72 percent and the average score was 205 943 gips so yes throttling is something definitely you know you need to work on nothing because it's it's not good to see a 700 series chip throttle like this for audio files out there if your audio earbuds or earphones or headphones supports qualcomm aptex hd you can now change a lot of settings including audio profile application audio profile and you can enable or disable this so this is a welcome addition now talking about battery life i've got pretty good battery life five to six hours of screen on time every single day over 24 hours and as far as charging speeds are concerned you know it takes about say one hour five minutes to one hour ten minutes on a xiaomi 33 watt charge so if you ask me overall there are no new bugs that have been introduced there are no new major issues that have been introduced but it does optimize your device to perform much more fluid much more better better battery life slightly better performance and overall a much better aesthetic appearance let me know in the comment section what do you think about this update and this review i'll see you in the next one keep smiling take care goodbye